In today's video, we're going to take a look at the TLT and talk about the path of least resistance. Now, this is a daily chart, and one of the things you can see here is that price is clearly below the 200, clearly below the 50, simple moving, and we also have the 5 and 13 in a sell mode still. So recently when we saw a nice little bounce here, and actually it was a little bit of a zigzag pattern, when it slammed into resistance, we knew to watch for a possible rollover. So this is where the projections came from. This prior rally swing, okay, it was a little bit less at $2.92. This rally swing, $3.17. This one, 298 kind of similar. This one, um, actually this is just one little spike here, and then one bar, 318, and then the spike into this um, high that was made recently was 311. So you, you can see that these swings were kind of similar. That's one of the reasons why we looked at a short, because it was a bearish pattern of lower lows and lower highs, moving averages actually supportive of the bears, and um, not only did we have the symmetry there, there were other price relationships that overlapped it. For example, you know, a retracement of the prior swing and then also an extension of this prior swing. So now that it's already started to roll over, uh, can you still get in? You know, you're late to the party, but the party's not necessarily over. So I would consider looking at um, maybe a five minute chart and looking at selling the pullbacks if it sets up tomorrow because if this path of least resistance continues, then you're going to shoot for a 1272 extension on the downside. Okay. Now, I do want to watch and make sure um, you don't get a reaction off of this area where you have symmetry that overlaps a uh, 786. But um, bottom line, if you can blow through that, then we are more likely to continue down towards the target of 115.66. So, I might be able to see if we can um, uh, set up a pullback in tomorrow's session or not.